Welcome to your official online orientation. My name is Dr. George Machaki, uh, and you most likely have signed up for one of my online courses. It's either Management 111, Introduction to Business, Management 280, uh, Organizational Behavior, or Management 270, Principles of Management. All of these classes utilize uh, a, a Blackboard course management uh, system uh, 9.1 uh, uh, utilizes McGraw-Hill's uh, book and utilizes McGraw-Hill's Connect. So let's go st uh, let's get started. Since this is an online class, it just makes sense that your orientation will be online. So I created this short YouTube video as to help you get over your uh, uh, jitters of taking an online class. First of all, we utilize Blackboard. Uh, I, I sent this orientation out to you earlier, so if you're not familiar with Blackboard, this is the first time you've taken a class at Harper College, or the first time you've taken an online class, go into your student portal, Blackboard, sign up, make sure you're registered, you have everything in there, you sign into your Blackboard the same way as you would sign into your uh, Harper email, except you just drop the student Harper email, and just utilize the first thing. So mine would be G Machaki, and I'd sign in that way into Blackboard, and I utilize the same uh, pass that I have for my email. Once you're into Blackboard, you'll see that they have uh, uh, videos on how to move around Blackboard. It's very simple, but so understand. My job as an instructor is to teach you course material, not how to utilize uh, Blackboard. So uh, utilize that. Okay, the other thing on an online class, your emails. If you send me any kind of emails or any kind of correspondence, it will be through Blackboard or through your Harper email. I do not respond to any other email unless it has, uh, it's your Harper email that was assigned to you when you registered to the class. So it will have George Machaki, a student at Harper uh, uh, College edu. So if I don't see that edu on there, when you send me uh, any kind of email uh, uh, for any of my online classes or even my face-to-face -face classes, it goes into a quarantine. I don't even open it up. Utilize your Harper email. That provides that protects you and gives me and protects you in the school that your uh, the privacy issue because I know that this one is assigned to you. If you have your own personal email, Happy George at AOL or uh, uh, Comcast. I do not really know that that is Happy George is Dr. George Machaki, the student. So uh, I could have some issues. To protect that, I know the, uh, the email that's been assigned to you by Harper is signed up to you. So you have to utilize your uh, Harper email for any kind of uh, communication with me. So uh, for any of my online classes or face-to-face -face classes. That's taken care of so you know how to get into Harper, you know, uh, I mean the Blackboard. You know how to utilize your uh, Harper email that was assigned to you. Now. When you get into uh, uh, Blackboard, what you'll find out is all my Blackboards are uh, set up the same. All <laughs> online classes are not the same. You'll have some instructors that may have very little uh, components or very little activity. I utilize, uh, I set up this Blackboard session similar to the same kind of uh, experience you would have in a four-year university or other university. You will have a forum. You will have a connect, this interactive software. You'll have videos. You'll have assessments. You'll do some chapter readings. You'll do the forms, communicate back and forth within me. You'll do some PowerPoint. You'll have every uh, as much interaction as I can. Okay, so let's get started. Let's go with the, uh, what you'll find out. You'll go into the uh, uh, your online class. You'll click on to the weekly module. All your work is condensed within that week. So if you're taking me for an eight-week class, it would be week one. It chapters this, and here's everything you need. So when you click into your first week, everything you need will be there. Your quizzes will be there. The uh, McGraw-Hill Connect assignments will be there. Your assessments will be there. Your forum links will be there. Your PowerPoint links will be there. Anything you need to for that week's work is, is located in that week. Once that week is done, the due date, the week is over, that week is turned off. That work is no longer available to you. Part of this online class is to help you with your time management. So for part of the time management courses is you have to do the work. Uh, remember, it's an online class. So you'll come in. Let's, let's start off with the forms. The first thing with the forms. When I go into the forms, I will basically have uh, a question. I'll submit a question. Most weekly assignments, you have one or two forms. You have a main form worth 15 points, and you have a minor form, maybe worth 5 points. The minor form may be uh, like a, a, a 
uh, ice chest or ice cooler. You'll come up and ask some questions or ask the instructor any kind of questions. So it's a one-time deal. You can come in there, Dr. M, I have no questions, I have no issues, and that's all you have to do. Now, the main form, you have to log in three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, any three times. Your first login post has to be done by Wednesday the latest. If not, you're never going to pull full form post. So now I go into that. So I logged in and I uh, do the form and the first one this week uh, you'll have like a uh, a question. I'll always submit a question in the form that you're to respond to me. So your first post will be basically responding to my question. I'll ask you something about uh, the, the assessment you did or some subject matter we'll be talking about uh, uh, for that week and then you'll respond to my post. After you respond to my post you're to respond to two other students posts to see uh, say hey that sounds like a good idea I didn't think about that and you give them not just like a one sentence just a, a couple of sentence a paragraph that you're giving them information just like you would be giving information or uh, developing a, a network of uh, uh, peers at work or you're talking to somebody your client or you're talking to another employee you're constantly reading the mail going back and forth so you respond to that and you'll get 40 percent of the 15 points right to my response how well you responded to my question the rest of the points or the rest of the, uh, let's say, 12 points or 13 points out there is depending how well you interact or respond to other students' questions and comments. So if I posted something, you may say, hey, I agree with you or I don't agree with you or what about this or I didn't think about this and you go back and forth. That's a good comment you made. And now what you're doing, you're building that uh, communication, the virtual communication online like you would with your boss, your peers, or your client. Okay, so and now remember you have to log in. First post is mine, worth 40% of the grade, and then the other posts you will get is so so you'll get seven points the first time you log in and respond to my point uh, post and two other questions. Now when you log in the next time, I'll upgrade your forum points from seven to maybe nine, depending on the quality and how much you uh, put in. And then your last post has to be by Saturday. After Saturday, I turn out the form, and then you'll get your, uh, then I'll update the points uh, uh, to either to the 15 or 13 or 12, whatever you deserve, depending on how much interaction you did within the week. The forms replace the lecture within the classroom. So when you're doing the forums, it's like the lecture. It's a virtual classroom. You're corresponding. You're listening. You may not respond to every form that's posted, but it's your uh, your responsibility to read all the posts so you have a general idea of what's going on. Once a question is posted in the forum and I respond to that question, I will not respond to the same question. You could change the question and ask for clarification, but if it's verbatim what somebody else already uh, uh, stated or asked and I responded just like in the classroom you will not be responding back to uh, asking the same question somebody else already asked you in the question okay so that's how the forum works it will improve your uh, networking skills and improve your online communication it also improves your reading and your written communication so the forum is done after the forum what do I do I read the three chapters, the three chapters, whatever is required. I go into uh, McGraw-Hill Connect. It's an assignment. McGraw-Hill Connect is an interactive software. It adjusts it. So however you ask, you respond to the assignment, you do the questions. It has a video. It has a drop-in uh, uh, drag thing. It has some fill-ins. And it, it's a very interactive software. You'll complete the assignment that I have in there. And then after the assignment is complete, you'll submit it. You'll get a score. So maybe the score is... Uh, 20, uh, you got 15 out of 20. That's not good enough. That's only like a C. So I say, hey, I want to go back. The connect assignments you could take as many times as you want over again after you did the reading. Take it over as, uh, as many times as uh, you want over again, but each time you want to get a higher score. So the way I grade you, when the, before the due date, you could take it over five, ten times till you reach the max. Once you reach the max, hey, I got my A, I could stop that. That means I understand the, the, the subject matter. Now, at the end of the week, I will go to, after I listen to the forums, I will go at the end of the week and I will take a regular Blackboard quiz that's worth 20 points or 10 points for every chapter. 
So that means I've done the uh, reading, I've done the connect assignment as many times as I want, over until I get the maximum score or the due date uh, comes. And then I uh, uh, go in and I take my quizzes. The quizzes I do by Saturday, I think for the, uh, sometimes I've extended them at the beginning till Sunday. So remember, you've done all the work, did all the form. Now I'm going to test you. See, hey, do you really know what uh, uh, what work you uh, uh, the knowledge that you've learned, the chapter readings, the uh, connect interaction, the software uh, interaction, the form interaction. Now I'm ready to test you on your knowledge. And then the, that's a one-time deal. The, the quiz is a one-time deal. You take it one time. That's it. And those are your score. And then the week ends. We turn it off and we start next week. So next week, what's going to happen? I'll go into week two uh, and I'll go, okay, week two, here's all my homework. I'll, I'll, I'll always have a real short, quick video introducing a week or a, talking about what happened last week that you should adjust or look for going forward. Okay, so you've done the video. You, you print out the overview. That is a written document that tells me everything that's required and the points associated with that. You finish that, and then you go into connect. You play around with the connect. You do the connect assignments as many times as you reach the max. And then you go into the forms. You respond to me three separate, uh, uh, three different days. Each day you sign in. You'll respond to two or three students. I'm looking for a total of, of uh, three logins and a total of three posts each time you log in uh, with a minimum of nine plus logins at different times over the whole week for you to get those uh, full points. And those are easy points. The connects are easy points. This is easy point. And then the, uh, the quiz. So when you do the quiz, you should be uh, pretty well with the quiz. Now you have all this information. It should be like you should always get your, uh, your B's and A's on the quiz. There's 20 questions, multiple choice, uh, one time deal. So that basically is uh, your online. Uh, when in the weekly uh, assignment, sometimes I may have you write a little paper or a little uh, information. I may have you do an assessment, an online assessment, and that's something you'll be talking about when in the forum. But overall, the week is easy. You uh, log in, go to your week's work assignment, look at my video, print out what's required, do the uh, readings, do the uh, McGraw-Hill uh, connects, uh, do the forums, one or two forums, do the, uh, what do you call it, um, the quiz and you're finished this is your online look if you look uh, on your online Harper College most uh, has one of the better online uh, classes that you're going to find out what you'll learn in this online class is similar to many online classes you'll take outside of Harper or even within Harper. You find out some do a little of, uh, look, if you take an online class and all you have to do is read the book and do, to do some quizzes and you're paying that money, there's very little learning involved. You're doing all your self-study. You're basically just uh, paying for a quiz, uh, to practice a test for an exam. This is a foundational class. When you finish this class, you will have as much knowledge and have as much understanding as you would have if you would have taken this class face to face. The thing that you have, you have your flexibility. You don't have to come to the classroom. You're doing it at different times. You can do it in the morning, you can do it in the afternoon, you can do it in the evening, you can do it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It doesn't make a difference unless you have all that work done within the week. But the, the only thing that has to be done on a regular basis that you have to log in three times at the forum. Just like if you have customers calling you in, you just don't wait all the way to Saturday to respond to all your customers' inquiries or your boss's inquiry. You have to do it within the week. By doing it within the week, it also sets up, it gives you like how to manage time, how to manage. So I do a little, look, try not to do all your work at the same time. There's no way you're gonna be successful in an online class. You do your reading one day, do the connect the next day, and then you do your forms the other day in between the week, and then you do your quizzes. So you kind of spread it out like you would do work. You don't do all your jobs at one time. You do a little here, today, a little tomorrow, and by the end of the week, you have your all your tasks done. So uh, this is your orientation. You'll enjoy this online class. Whether this is the first online class, you say, I'll never take another online class, do never say never, never. Because in business, when you're going into business, most of your quizzes, most of your learning, most of your uh, exams or your uh, accreditation or certification are going to be done online. Might as well learn how to do online and feel comfortable with online testing, online communication, online uh, searching, online taking assessments. 
right here at Harper and uh, in a learning environment, in an environment that you have the instructor to help you through, get you to, uh, to understand what's important, what's not important, and you should do well. Okay, so remember, uh, this is your orientation. Log in. You'll enjoy this online class. I, I learned a lot about students uh, within the forums. So remember, each week you go into your weekly assignments and there's all your work. Remember, it has a stroll bar. Don't look at the first thing and only have a few things and that's all I have for the week. Stroll down and make sure you have everything. But every week's going to have the same thing. Reading chapters, you'll do your connect assignments, you'll do your forums, you'll do your assessments and kind of homework that has to be turned in. You'll do a research paper or a business plan uh, in any one of my uh, classes and I'll have a whole separate uh, YouTube and a little forum on that. So again, uh, you'll enjoy this online class. Do not be intimidated. The class is set up where it it helps you uh, uh, manage your time. I send emails constantly out saying, hey, the next week is coming in. We have another test coming up. Here's a new posting. So make sure you are, you're very active in Blackboard and, you're very, and your email. Uh, you, remember, you could forward your email, your Harper email, to your personal email, your iPhone, your smartphone, so you know there's something that uh, has to be done within uh, uh, Blackboard uh, for this online class. Again, my, my name is Dr. Jordan Machaki. Uh, we'll be utilizing course uh, management system from Blackboard uh, version 9 and uh, in integrated software that basically adjusts to your uh, learning styles, your learning skills, how you respond to the uh, questions uh, offered by McGraw-Hill Connect that uh, uh, utilizes uh, Connect and all the, the, the books that uh, I will be teaching online. And uh, you should be all right. You'll enjoy this class. You'll find more people from all over. You may become a, uh, an online student and take a, a several other classes online because it's going to be so enjoyable. And you'll see the flexibility. If you're traveling or anything else, you don't, if your computer crashes or your car breaks down, you can, if you can make it to the library or somebody else got a Wi-Fi connection, boom, you're in there and you never miss a beat. Again, my name is Dr. George Machaki. This is your online uh, uh, orientation offered by Harper College, and I'll see you online shortly in one of my classes uh, 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 within the forums. Thank you for, again for signing up uh, for an online class with Harper and taking this course with me.